We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. We secure our slip at the Maritime Marina in Charleston Harbor with a beautiful sunset and view of the Cooper River Bridge. This marina is very close to the downtown area and a great deal, especially if you stay a week. But you will rock and roll, especially when the big cargo ships go by. The next day Liberty arrived in Charleston, so let the fun begin. We enjoyed exploring Charleston on our bikes, seeing the beautiful homes and streets, churches, and of course a stop for some adult ice pops. The bridge was beautiful every night, and finally for Mother's Day we decided to bike the bridge over and back. This resulted in a beer, of course, and learning that our grandbaby would be a little girl. After getting back to Journey, we decided with Mark and Cheryl from Liberty that we would have a dive bar tour. Recovery Room was our second stop, and here are just a few shots. But overall, it was a great night of fun, laughs, drinks, and greasy food. Before heading out, Dee and I enjoyed an evening at a rooftop bar to celebrate our anniversary. We headed out of Charleston Harbor and we see the sights one more time as we enter the ICW and head toward Georgetown, South Carolina. Along the ICW, we find it really interesting to see such big, expensive homes on one side and then right across these cute little homes. I'm choosing the cute little home. Another odd sighting was a lifeboat from a cruise ship, I guess, tied up at the dock. Really, you never know what you'll see along the ICW. We also spotted Kalana in the swamps near Charleston in an anchorage we'll return to in our trip back south. We're not exactly sure how they got into this anchorage, but Kalana is now the inked mermaid. And we are so excited for Rick and Christy. We just had met them in Key West, and this boat will be theirs early next year. We cruise through more low country of South Carolina. We see beautiful landscapes, and even this home with no road. We caught and passed Liberty once again. We saw an alligator and dolphins. I was watching the dolphins and noticed the osprey in the tree, but while videoing this event, where both must have been fishing, I actually caught neither hitting the water. But I did get the osprey flying away, and I believe he was empty handed. and more alligators. We were for sure in the swampland of South Carolina. The first of two bald eagles we would see between Charleston and Georgetown. As we near the Waccamaw River and Winya Bay, we pass Yawkey Wildlife Center that has a unique ferry type bridge that only closes when someone needs to cross the ICW. So it was open when we passed by. Just after we were through and the sailboat behind us, it closed. That was close. 
we head up river now to Georgetown and see our second bald eagle in flight along the water. We anchored and waited for Liberty to arrive. They were just going to stay several nights, so they just wrapped it up with us. Now it was time to explore Georgetown, which is a very boater-friendly community and has a great little historic district by the water with shops, restaurants, and more. After Mark and Shaw left, we continued to explore and walk each day around Georgetown, noting some of the historic homes and the stories they tell. On a beautiful evening in May, we enjoyed wine and chocolate on the deck for our official anniversary. As we watched the osprey fly, we realized it was time to fly the drone. That boat is Azalina with Mike and Mimi on board. They stopped overnight here in Georgetown and we enjoyed happy hour and some laughs together. We was able to get some shots of her in the harbor with Journey. The view of Georgetown each night was special and beautiful. The waters were so still while we were here. Wait, is that journey with a mast? This is a great picture Dee caught of the sailboat behind us giving her a mast. She would make a cool sailing catamaran. We met the guy on the sailboat next to us and he came over to give us some pointers on fishing around the Georgetown area. And before we headed out, Dee flew the drone one more time he got some really great shots of Georgetown and Journey.
Good night and goodbye, Georgetown. We loved our stay. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life.